Cody is with us. Cody's in Indianapolis. Hi, Cody. Welcome to the show. Hi, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve, man. What's up? Hey, so my question is, so I work for the government, uh, state government, and um, I just kind of, I'm a middle manager, and I was just kind of wanting some advice um, on how to treat that business like my own, but it's not mine. And so kind of how do you treat someone else's business like your own? And I thought you'd be a good one to ask for that. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Um, it'd be a lot easier for me to answer that in my head if it wasn't the government, but, um, we'll still try to (laughs) try to think it through here. Um, I think it comes down to, uh, the, you know, your attitude, the way you're leaning in, the way you're viewing it. Um, we're going to treat each decision like I own the place. And there's several pieces of literature out there that indicate that that's going to cause you to uh, be excellent at your position. It's going to cause you to be noticed by not only your current employer, but by also possible future employers that might steal you because you're so stinking valuable and adding value. Now, uh, one of the pieces of literature is Seth Godin, uh, one of the best marketing minds on the planet, is a friend of mine. He says to me, his favorite book he ever wrote was not about marketing. It was about your question. It's called Lynchpin. And if you know what a linchpin is, if you've ever messed around out in the country with a tractor uh, or a piece of construction equipment, it's the pin that drops through, and it usually has a little clip on it that flips around, holds it in place, and it's the thing that allows you to tow something. Uh, it It allows something to work that otherwise wouldn't work. And so without the linchpin... Uh, and everything doesn't, doesn't function the way it's supposed to. So you need to become a linchpin is, is the essence, the thesis of his whole book. And it's worth reading because it's about managing up is what it's all about. The second person that talks about that a lot is my good, another good friend, Rabbi Daniel Lappin, who wrote the book, Thou Shall Prosper, where he talks about reasons that people in the Jewish community have prospered, uh, over the scope of time. Uh, inordinately prospered. And one of the things is, is they view themselves as self-employed wherever they are. It's, uh, I, if I, uh, if I work for someone else, I'm self-employed with one customer, the company I work for, and I need to make that customer happy. I need to provide customer service. I need to add value to that customer's life, to their business, to the, uh, an ROI. And so in that sense, if you're self-employed here, one way of looking at it, one way of being a linchpin, one way of uh, ha- adopting that very positive Jewish mindset is to say, okay, I'm going to treat this place like I own it. I'm going to treat it like I'm self-employed. I'm going to treat it like I'm a linchpin. And I, if I don't do everything that I'm supposed to do with excellence, and if I don't assist people uh, laterally up the chain of command, down the chain of command, do their jobs better. If I don't help everyone around me look better because of my excellence and because of my assistance, because I'm adding value, then I've not performed as a linchpin and I've not treated this place like I own it. So around here at Ramsey, one of our core values is that uh, we want our team members to adopt the idea that we're all self-employed. And we use all kinds of illustrations for that. If you were self-employed and you're walking through the parking lot and there was a piece of paper, trash, a potato chip bag laying next to a car, you would stop and pick it up and throw it away if you owned the building and you owned the company. Uh, If you were an employee mindset, you'd walk past and go, gosh, hope maintenance sees that. Right? Right. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. And so that's the that's that's what you're looking for here. And, and obviously that's beyond your job description, but when you're self-employed, it's not beyond your job description because everything is your job. My job is to make sure this organization accomplishes its goals, has a vision, moves forward and, and with excellence in every freaking detail. And I'm going to pound it until it does that. And so that if you own it, that's what you would be doing. And it's a little harder emotionally to get your head around that if we're talking about owning the state. But, <laughs> but, but I mean, yeah. or you could look at just the organization that you're within, uh, whatever the, uh, I guess, the department that you're within, the, the area. And you say, all right, all the way up to the governor uh, and all the way down to the entry-level position in this department, the game and fish department or whatever it is I'm in, 
I'm going to do everything I can to help everyone involved as if I owned the place, as if I ran the whole thing. Now, I'm not going to overstep my bounds. I can't go bossing somebody around that I'm not in charge of, but I'm going to help everybody be better. I'm going to serve, 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 and I'm going to bring an eye of excellence and an eye of caring, meaning I care. I guess that's the big difference is when you own the place, you care. When you don't own the place uh, emotionally, you don't care. And you go, gosh, I wish somebody would figure that out. Instead, you go, God, I, I, I got to fix this. This is not okay. And, and so does yeah. that make any sense? That's the only way I know how to get, the, get at this. No, it makes perfect sense, yeah. What, uh, what department are you in at your state? Uh, transportation. Okay. Yeah, the uh, Department of Transportation. The so, Department of Transportation. So road maintenance. Oh, excellent. Yeah. 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 And, and so, you know, you got a, a, a lot of customers and the taxpayers that want the chuck holes fixed, right? Mm-hmm. And the, uh, the, the bridge is safe. And the, uh, the county road paved, uh, or the, the state road that runs through the county paid paved and yep. uh you got a lot of different things on your plate or somebody's plate around you that are things like that and so there's a lot of opportunity to serve the customer the taxpayer here um and help the organization the department of transportation be of more service to add value and if you created a department doing that in state government or in any government body anywhere in america you're going to stand out sure big yeah. time Big time. And, and, it, and if it gets attributed to you, you're going to stand out and you're either going to run up that, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the ladder within that department, or again, someone in private industry will look over and go, Cody's a stud. I'm stealing him. I'm completely going to poach him from the state. That's going to be the way to go for sure. Wow. Hey, Cody, I got to tell you, man, I, I'm thankful that there are people with your mindset that actually care enough to ask a question like that that are working in state government that gives me great hope 